Hello everyone. I am Seda Tüzün Canadinç. This is a presentation of Project 1 for Arch 65 given by Dr. Wei Yan at Texas A&M University. In this project, I am going to make parametric modeling and physically based form finding. I chose Villa Nerbs in Spain by architect Enrique Ruiz Gelli as a case study. The reason of this choice is the complexity of the project. It gives opportunity for using various nodes in Grasshopper. In this case study, I create my parametric modeling in five parts. First, columns. Second, transition contours between columns and body. Third, body skin. Fourth, tensile structure on the skin. Fifth, roof frame. Let's start with a columns parametric form. I drew this two identical curves in Rhino and in the grasshopper I put this node curve node for both of these curves. One node is enough for two curves. And after that I found their centroid by using area moments. Since there are two curves the centroid has to be grafted. The centroid is required for the scale and when we look at the scale, the geometry has also to be uh, grafted as well. For these scale factors, uh, actually I made three groups for the scale. I made these uh, scale factors by using series and items as a list. After scaling, I moved them in the y direction. These are the moved. The reason uh, of this movement is uh, the concave shape. These are the elevated, scaled and moved curves. I use extrude cap holes and boundary surfaces commands for the final shape. I also uh, use many number sliders for each of the scale and movement values. This is the one result, but I could change it if I made 10 curves in each. It gets higher. Let's continue with uh, transition columns, contours between columns and body. Like the columns, I draw them in the uh, Rhino and again I make use of a, a curve node in the Grasshopper uh, to define them, these curves with one node. Again, uh, I made use of Move, Extrusion and Cap uh, the same as above, uh, the same nodes and this is the result. Yes. Let's uh, look at the uh, next part by the skin curve. I draw it in Rhino and again I make use of a curve node in Grasshopper. After I uh, elevate it, I have to be elevate the um, centroid of it uh, at the same level. I would like to have uh, a con uh, convex shape. Uh, that's why I again make two groups and uh, I have some lists, lists uh, by using domain and range and item and some uh, multiplication node and uh, for the final list I merge them and flatten them. I make use of them as a scale factor. After that uh, I move them uh, in the Z direction and after I love them Let's see it. Uh, this is the movement of these uh, scale shapes and this is the loft. Again there are some parameters, scales, number of curves. If I uh, make these curves, just uh, connect them to the pipe, I obtain this pipe. And if I would like to have or, uh, very vertical wires, I have to mm, divide and flip them. Vertical wires, horizontal wires, and 
Uh, for the diagonal y wires, I shifted and flipped and uh, make use of interpolate curve command. And let's look at them. For uh, achieving horizontal pipes, I divided. First, I have divided these uh, curves, and then I made them shatter. So I had uh, uh, each piece. And then after that, I reparameterize and divide them again. So, if I divide each curve, I had these points. I can change these points uh, uh, by using division of horizontal wire pieces. Yes, uh, there are six pieces here. If I would like to change the um, pieces, I could change it here, but I, I won't change it now. I, I define a pattern because I don't want these first and the last parts. So I ha I want uh, them to be zero and zero in the first and the in the last, and the others to be one. And by using the call pattern and inter curve, I pipe them and obtain the pipes I need. The bolts should be in the intersection of these wires. This is the bolt. I made it in Rhino. This is the curve and this is the revolved surface. And after that I use Orient, also surface closest point and evaluate surface commands and the vectors. I orient them in the intersect of the wires. This is the roof frame. Uh, there are some alpha plows uh, on the roof and made some curves in Rhino. After moving them, this is the uh, roof frame. And I make use of extrude and boundary. I didn't use cap holes here because I want this part to be a hole. And this is the final uh, form of the parametric modeling. I baked them before um, making the f physically based modeling. And in the grasshopper node, the adfab plows are here. These are the curves of adfab plows. And I move them first to be in this place. And then uh, separate the control points. And then interpolate the curves. I need meshes in order to uh, use uh, kangaroo engine and weaver bird and after I obtain this mesh I use weaver bird split uh, polygon subdivision weaver bird edges and naked points for obtaining the springs I need these web edges for the connection and rest length and uh, naked uh, vertices uh, are required uh, because I need some anchor points and anchor points are the naked points and I uh, make use of U-force in the Z-direction uh, and I use U-force uh, to the clotted points uh, in the kangaroo engine. Let's see what's happening. The Edfa plows just inflated. I make them both in upwards and inwards and I bake them. This one is upwards, as you seen a, a minute before, and this is the downwards version. This is the physical part of this project. Let's continue with the analysis of the uh, surface. Uh, this loft surface, uh, the curvilinear skin, uh, I uh, analyzed it in the Rhino. Uh, there's a sub mini under analyze, and in the surface part, you see cur uh, curvature analysis and when I look at this curvature analysis I see some blue parts and uh, red parts these are the uh, actually these are okay the uh, green parts are okay but um, in the red and the blue parts there are um, sharp uh, turning points so um, these are not smooth, but the, the, this could be adjusted uh, by using the parametric um, values uh, and became, uh, could be become uh, more smooth. 
um, is a chance that this structure and this loft uh, surface is is not built with uh, some solid material such as concrete uh, and uh, it was built with tensile structures so it's okay uh, it won't create a very big problem uh, let's look at its uh, zebra analysis uh, we see here as well uh, the curvature doesn't go smoothly and in these parts also there are thin parts and we came to the uh, end of this video thank you for watching